ahead and get into our TBRs for August, and we are both going home to California. I'm going for two weeks, and she's going for, is it one week, or is it like nine ten days? days? Nine days. So we have quite a few books. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of mine, but I'm definitely going to try. So uh, the first book on my list is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. So this is the companion novel to My Life Next Door. And since I enjoyed My Life Next Door so much, I thought even though these aren't exactly the same characters, I did enjoy her writing. So hopefully I will enjoy this as well. And both of us are going to read Ready Player One for um, Chris Katrina's mm -hmm. um, Little Book Club. This is the one that I voted for this one. I know you voted for Mr. Mr. Penumbra's. But I'm still excited. I've had this book for a really long time. So. And I don't. I got it from the library, though. And we're going to read this. It's supposed to be really good. It's a little daunting. The print is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But hopefully it will go by really quickly. I think I'm going to try to read this on the plane, actually, just to get into it. So looking forward to this one. I guess I will go next because I think I have quite a few more books. Yes. Yeah. Because I chose a few graphic novels. Um, I've heard a lot, especially during the book Tubathon, about the Saga series. Mm -hmm. So I got the first one, and I'm going to attempt that, but the first page is her giving birth. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Makes her a little squeamish, I'm sure. And the other one, I wanted to read this during the book Tubathon, but I just never picked it up. We were still finishing up school and all that. So it's Same Difference by Derek Kirk Kim. And I actually don't know what it's about. Um, somebody had mentioned it in the video, that's why I bought it. I think it was actually Priscilla. Okay. But um, it's another graphic novel, so that'll be relatively quick. quick. Um, the next one I got, I'm trying to kind of at least a little bit branch out, so I've got Ready Player One for my adult, and I wanted to pick one middle grade book, so I picked The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. And I know this is a middle grade book, but it's a little darker than most middle grade books. Um, I think it's kind of got a similar premise to uh, Patrick Ness's A Monster Calls. That's what she said when she read the back, that it seems kind of similar. It's about a boy whose mother dies, and so as he's dealing with all of that, he finds, I think it's finds a, finds a books in his attic or something, and they're whispering to him, and so he gets into this whole other world of these, but I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it sounds really good, and so I thought finally I would just pick this one up and try to get through it this month. I also picked out a middle grade book that we saw at Barnes and Noble when we were just oh, messing around, right? and it's Flora and Ulysses, and it's like I said, it's a middle grade book, and it but it won the a uh, Newbury a Newbury Newbury Prize, uh, yeah, award, and it's about a girl and a squirrel, and I started reading this actually already, and the squirrel survived a vacuum attack, so it's a resilient squirrel. <laughs> um, and the next one. I got, or I got, yeah, I just bought recently, and that's The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky, and, oh, who is it, Sasha, what is, a book, Topia? I don't know how to pronounce her uh, username, but I'll put it in the video, but her name's Sasha, I'm sure you all know she's got plenty of subscri subscribers, but this is a new adult book that she recommended, and I'd never even heard of it before, and it sounds really good, it's just about a girl who... She's 20 years old, and she thought she knew where life was going, and then she decided, you know what, I'm going to just pick up my stuff, and I'm going to drive across country, I think. And Or if she doesn't drive, she gets on a Greyhound, but then she meets somebody named Andrew, and then they have their whole adventure together. But I heard it's really, really good. It's kind of like a coming-of-age story in a way, so that sounds really good. I have a couple of contemporary books that I'm going to get to this month. So I have Biggest Flirts by Jennifer Eccles. I've been in the mood for contemporary, and this is really cute, and I enjoyed Such a Rush. Such a Rush, I heard. And I, I really enjoy her book, her writing, so this might be a cute, quick read. Um, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. And I love the cover of that book. Yeah, and this has been on my shelf for a very long time, and I would like to get to it this month. And then there's another book that we were just browsing, Barnes and Noble, and it's just got an interesting concept. It's called My Life with the Walter Boys, and it's about a girl who is put into foster care with a family with the twelve. Yeah, twelve boys. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> twelve sons. Okay, eleven, but Parker acts like a boy. So um, it should be interesting, and it's a, a concept that's kind of different. It's you know, not based around love. Maybe there is love. Who knows? But I like the cover, and it caught me, and it sounds interesting sounds really also. Cute. So hopefully those will be my quick contemporary reads while I'm you know, at home. 
And the next book I'm going to do is actually a book she read in July, and that is Firecracker by David Isersen. Again, it's by um, the writer for New Girl and, and SNL, and I recently just started watching New Girl and watched the first two seasons. Oh, yes. It's so good. I'm sure everybody knows this. We're like way late on the, that bandwagon, but it's so good, and I know that she thought it was hilarious, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. And I'm actually also reading right now, it doesn't have its dust jacket on. This is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. I read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight uh, a couple months ago. A few months ago, yeah. I don't know. But I enjoyed it. It's the epitome of a fluffy, fluffy contemporary. It's uh, fluffier than Sarah Dessen. But I enjoy it. It's, you know, perfect for, you know, being out of school, summer read. And it's about a girl who, uh, got an accidental email from a boy on the other side of the country and he turns out to be somebody famous and they just met in real life so we'll see where that goes but I'm liking it so far I like her writing another book that I got is kind of takes a little bit of a different turn and that is Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman and this follows uh, Adolf Hitler's niece um, during World War II basically um, she is what is her name Gretchen uh, Gretchen is Adolf Hitler's niece and she's like his favorite so she always obeys him and all that kind of stuff and then she finds out a secret from a Jewish reporter named Daniel um, about her father who had passed away in the war and so now she has to kind of reevaluate everything that she has been taught about her uncle and what's going on and her beliefs and it's kind of, I'm sure there's romance thrown in there with Daniel, but it sounds really, really good, and I have this weird fascination with World War II, so I'm really looking forward to this. Plus, I love this cover. I just think it's really beautiful. My TBR takes a bit of a darker twist also. I uh, Another random Barnes & Noble good. find uh, is The Girl Who Was Supposed to Die, and it's, the description is exactly what the title implies. Um, she was kidnapped, she wakes up, she doesn't know who she is, where she is, or why she's there, but she knows that people are trying to kill her and she needs to get away, so that should be quick, suspenseful, and yeah. exciting. And then, the In the End by Demetria Lunetta, it's the second book to In the After, and I read that when it first came out. A long time ago. Yeah, now. so I actually need to probably like skim it or you know read in a summary of it again, it's been a while. But it follows Amy, the uh, main character who has survived this, you know, apocalyptic world and but anyway she survived the after <laughs> and this is I don't think there's gonna be any more books in the series this is the end and I'm interesting to, interested to see what happens to her and going on that darker theme again I have a book that I heard about from Geraldine um, a starry in 72 a long time ago and Robin actually got it for me a couple months ago and it's called Project Kane by I don't know if it's Jeffrey Gerard or Joffrey Gerard I'm not really sure but basically this follows a boy named Jeff who was made out completely out of Jeffrey Donner, Dahmer's excuse me, uh, DNA. And so basically they're doing a bunch of experiments um, where they're making children out of serial killer DNA and then they're putting them in different environments, loving households, not loving households, and seeing how they're turning out. And a bunch of the most dangerous of those kids get out and... I think killing starts, and so Jeff is going to go and try and stop it, but he also has to come to terms with the fact that he just found out that he is made from serial killer DNA. So it sounds really interesting and gripping, so I'm hoping it's as good as I'm thinking it's going to be. I hope I don't have too high of expectations for it, but I'm looking forward to it. My last book is just a romance book because I'm going to be on a plane for eight and a half hours. So um, I'm going to read the first book in the Fool's Gold Romance series by Susan Mallory. I haven't read anything at all by her before, but somebody at work recommended her, and it should be quick and fun. And we also have one other book that we're both planning on reading this month, and if you can't guess, it is I Love the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. We obviously don't have it yet because it doesn't come out until the 14th, but we both made sure that those books were going to be delivered to our parents' house back in California so we could read them while we were on vacation, and we are both so looking excited. forward to that because we both love Anna and Lola, so. The covers are going to be different, though. Yeah, but I'm, I'm okay with that, because they're all going to be hardback. So as long as they're the same size, I'm okay with the cover change. But I really like the new covers, yeah, though. Me too. I just wish they were all the same.
<laughs> but yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. And that was our TBR, and if you made it this whole way, thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, Good job. I know, it was probably a really long video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you've read any of these books and you want to let us know what you think, we would love to hear it down in the comments below. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. I should be cleaning, but I'm gonna read. I need to clean. This is what I, this is how I end up watching Psych, because I can't decide what to do, so I just watch Psych. <laughs>